Over the past year, Denver has paid more than $17 million to settle police-related lawsuits. But an oversight board says the city is not being transparent when it comes to those settlements. As Denver 7's Brandon Richard tells us, some say that makes it nearly impossible to hold police accountable. Well, that oversight group has been calling for more transparency and accountability for months now, but they tell me very little has changed. According to Denver's Citizen Oversight Board, which seeks to hold law enforcement agencies accountable, the city paid out a whopping $17 million last year in police-related lawsuits. Beyond that huge dollar amount, hardly anything is known about those settlements. That's a real disservice to the community members who are harmed by the departments, but also in pursuit of a better public safety system. Julia Richmond is chair of the Oversight Board. She says lawsuits involving police misconduct often have provisions that go beyond money. In some cases, departments even agree to make changes to policies or practices to ensure whatever happened doesn't happen again. Where the board is right now is just trying to get the basics of facts around how many settlements are there, what are the terms that are non-monetary terms in the settlements, where are those tracked. She's calling on the city to provide more transparency and she's not alone. We must have more transparency, we must have more accountability that these things won't continue to happen. Denver City Councilman Darrell Watson says the council gets a detailed briefing behind closed doors before it decides whether to approve money for a police-related settlement. But he says what's unclear is whether the city is making the changes it promises to make in those settlements. As each dollar we pay is some resident, someone who was harmed by Denver police in some way or form. We cannot continue to make those payments out um, make uh, those votes without knowing that there's an outcome. The Department of Safety, which DPD is part of, told Denver 7 in a statement Friday that moving forward, its executive director has agreed to post non-monetary settlement terms on its website until compliance is established and says this will include posting documents that confirm compliance with such terms. Brandon Richard, Denver 7.